everybody it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you another collective reading dear God hey baby how you doing today I'm good can you please bless the collective with a message that they need at this time sure 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 okay good yay could it be something good and positive and empowering I'll see what I have in my bag. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thank you, God. Okay. Four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Lovers, Gemini, Four of Wands. Anybody seeing a theme here with the fours? And the uh, um, Page of Swords. <sighs> Somebody's holding back love. Uh, until they get more information. I feel like some of you guys are, right? Relationship, right? It has to be relationship. We got the lovers next to the four of wands. I mean, nothing else says relationship but that. But it's almost like, um, oh, either you or the universe is trying to keep you from getting ahead of yourself. I feel like there has been, mine, or you just met this person. That's what it is. And you guys started to talk, you know, kind of getting to know you. So what you like to do for fun, James? Well, I like going fishing. <laughs> I got to stop with these voices. I got to stop. Yeah, look at that. The eight of wands, eight of swords. Boy, God, thank you. Look at that. You are so awesome, God. High five. All right, good job. Yeah, six of one. Okay, all right, all right, collective baby. Y'all just met somebody. Y'all met somebody in a Mercury retrograde, and y'all trying to figure out. Well, I want to, but I don't know yet. Right? You got the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is like just being hit with a bunch of shit at one time downloads your heart is like going crazy your head is going crazy your genitals are growing crazy that four of pentacles is like uh-huh so what that mean i ain't budging um what i'm also getting too is that yeah you guys are blocked off you're not trying to get carried away with this you're not trying to what's the other term angels get carried away with it thank you you got the two of pentacles and an eight of swords. Yeah, I love this because this to me is almost like you guys checking in with yourselves. It's like, all right, I got to do like Alex says, just get to know him. So where you said you from? Okay, so did your mother and your father grow up in Detroit too? Right? Like this is, this to me is almost like you guys, you know, it's weird because the eight of swords usually means like something negative as in yo you're trapped in your head you're in prison you keep thinking about the same thing over and over you're closed-minded right but this time with the two of pentacles it's almost like you are going back and forth it's like you're going back in your head to be like okay so what's next on my list okay so where'd you go to school right like it's almost like that two of pentacles is you trying to keep yourself balanced out so to an extent, you're trying not to get caught up in your head, to get carried away with this. But then when also your heart is like going bonkers, you're like, okay, baby, get back in your head. So yeah, um, he got, he got, he dresses nice. So I might, you know, he, we kind of look like we may match, right? Like I do feel like this two of pentacles and this eight of swords is you guys getting turned off and turning yourselves off, by the way, getting turned off strategically and then the natural you know allowing yourselves to get turned back on and here's the thing with the lovers card and the seven of cups because you guys just don't know right you don't know if there's somebody else out there you don't know if this person is the one whatever that means to you you don't know if they date other people you don't know if they want to see you exclusively i love this reading because it feels you know what? First of all, I wish I had a reading like this when I first met somebody because this kind this reading is almost like showing exactly what this what you guys are going through mentally and emotionally and psychologically. It's like, okay, 
I mean, I know I'm just talking to him for the second day and I feel like I want to be with this person, but I need to find out more information. I need to come out of my heart space and move back in my head space strategically, right? Because it's almost like you're moving in your head space to keep from going overboard in your heart space. Then when you're in your head space, you move back over to your heart space to keep from going overboard in your head space. So I love the back and forth. Okay. Um, four of wands. And then also the word, see what I'm saying? Did you already pick out the ring? I'm thinking about Ross on friends. <laughs> Phoebe was like, you love marriage so much that you'll probably marry it. Right? Like, Oh, come on. I need y'all to go ahead. Whoever you are and you know who you are, who is already picturing yourself with this person. You done, go, you done scribbled their last name behind your last name. Come on, come on, be bold enough to out yourself and let us know. Yeah, Alex, it's going so good. And I did, girl, <laughs> right? The world card with the four of wands, you want, it's almost like you want a world with this person. For a lot of you guys, it almost even feels like you think you know enough about this person to want to take that next step. Now, at the end of the day, this can apply for those of you who just met somebody or, or for those of you who might've been dating for somebody for a couple of months, okay? And I would say months as in anything less than a year, right? Because especially with the hermit here and then also the four of pentacles again, you know what I mean? It's almost like you keep kind of going back to that drawing board and saying, okay, what do I need? What else? What do I need to know? Okay. What else I need to learn? Um, okay. You said what now, God? Okay. This time ask how many kids he wants and be on the lookout for my community post because I did post something or it's, it's scheduled. It says the questions you need to ask before you get married is very freaking insightful. Okay. So I do kind of feel like, yeah, with the four of pentacles and also the hermit card, you think about this person a lot, right? Not only that, but angels are also saying too, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you manifested this person, but with that four of pentacles, it's almost like, holy shit, it feels too good to be true. Did I actually get what I want this time? And you know, the hermit card also says to me too, that a lot of you guys, you know, you're kind of going, some of y'all, mm, <laughs> Some of y'all who wrote your list down, okay, I want him to have this and I want her to have that. For those of you who actually wrote something down or you have like this standing list, a vision board, whatever it is, I do kind of feel like a lot of you guys are going back to your quote unquote drawing boards, ha ha ha, pun, 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 um, and just kind of double checking like, oh my God, that's everything I asked for, Alex. You know, and again, with that four of pentacles, um, Four of Pentacles here and Four of Pentacles here just kind of says to me that, yeah, it's not time to get carried away, to just release, to just fully open up and fully let go. Because I really do feel like for a lot of you guys, you are still in the getting to know you phase. Okay. And, and speaking of getting to know you, right? Page of Swords. He's the little, you know, he's curious. He wants to know. So where'd you grow up? And did you have dogs as a kid or did you guys have cats? Right. And then the six of wands, the six of wands, y'all know is victory. So it's almost like all of this is going to be worth it. Right. Because I don't think, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I don't think we invest as much time these days in building a foundation in a relationship as we used to. So this to me looks like it's the foundation building stage of your relationship. And for a lot of you guys, it's hard because you're learning so much, you're feeling so much, you're thinking so much. And we got eight, eight, and then we also have the hermit there, which says to me, yeah, you know, um, you think about this person a lot. You think about them when you're not with them. And here's how I know I absolutely love talking to somebody. It's when I have conversations in my head preparing for the next time I talk to them, right? So it's like, yeah, I need to talk, talk to this, talk to Jay about this because here's my point of view and I want, I wonder what he would think, what, you know, what his point of view would be, right? So yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, it's almost like this, this, I can't even call it a romance. 
I'm refusing to call it a romance again because we're just laying the foundation, right? And yeah, we do need to understand if they're a great lover also, right? That is also what you should um, have on your checklist as well, but not in the first two weeks. I mean, no judgment. If that's who you are, I'm, hey, no judgment from me. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I just kind of feel like instead of breezing past this phase, we need to kind of whoa, Nelly it, slow it down, first understand who we're dealing with. Um, angels are also saying to me too, for, for those of you who are in more seasoned relationships, you guys could be committing soon, right? Cause as I was, you know, pushing these cards up and down, um, I was hearing, you know, with the seven of cups being many different options and confusion about who you're going to choose. That also kind of says to me too, that you, whether it's you or your person, you could eliminate your options and they may choose you or you may choose them. And once you guys choose each other, then it's, there's the commitment. There's the commitment, right? But again, even before you do that, or, or if you're the receiver of the request, like if your person asked you to commit to them, yeah, please think about it. Please go back and think about what you know, what you learned. Um, here are some huge things. How they spend their money, you know, do they get paid and buy sneakers and we go out and we hang out and they're living in their mom's basement. Which shout out to everybody living in their mom's basement because some people living in their mom's basement are saving up for a house, right? But you want to pay attention to your person's spending habits and how they handle their finances, right? You also want to pay attention to how they interact and deal with their family. Are they on speaking terms with everybody? Um, if they're a parent, are they caretakers? Are they custodial parents or are they, you know, um, child support uh, payers? As in, you know, they were forced to pay child support and they don't really spend time a lot with their kids. And that goes both ways for men and female, uh, men and female. I gotta go. I gotta go, God. <laughs> it's been a long day. I gotta go. But, um, females, um, whatever that means to you, by the way. Um, so yeah, you need to pay attention to, you know, the reasons why people get divorced, which is money. Huge reason why people get divorced, communication, right? Not only that, but have relationship goals, right? Yo, first three months, getting to know each other, nothing but. Second three months, okay, let's start to interact, uh, let's start to venture out. Maybe we'll take a trip here or there. Third three months, right? Six through nine months, yeah, maybe I'll introduce you to my family, my friends, maybe my children. Okay. After a year. Okay. What are we doing? <laughs> right. Um, cause a year is a lot of time to give somebody. I'm just saying a year to me is like an eternity. All right. Angel answers. What do you have for the collective within the next few weeks? Boy, you timeline junkies. So yeah, I do kind of feel like the next few weeks I saw four weeks, right? So I feel like whomever you are in whatever phase of this, if you don't have this person, you could meet this person. If you already know this person, you'll continue or you'll have a discussion related to something that you saw in this video or relationship goals and how do you feel about the divorce rate and why, what are some reasons why you would get divorced? And you know what I mean? I feel like this reading is, is really giving you guys information on how to build, how to successfully build uh, a beautiful foundation in your personal relationships. Now, please excuse me because I have cards on the floor. <laughs> I'm looking under the table and it's like fucking eight cards up under here. I'm like, damn. Sorry, I'm hitting my tripod trying to get the <laughs> moonology cards. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Angel answers. What do we have for the collective? After Alex just had to go up under the table. <laughs> Stupid shit I think in my head sometimes. All right, what we got? Be assertive. Okay. Um, yeah, be interested. Be interested, right? Show interest, right? Especially um 
for those of you again who may be fighting physical attraction as in you just want to jump their bones sexually it's like baby there's a brain up on top of them tits or you know there's a brain on top of them pecs ladies as in there's more to them than their sexual selves boy look at the timeline junkies a year from now I just heard if you get this right a year from now, look, so I'll be here, but y'all won't because y'all will be booed up and trying to get married. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, Moses. I understand. That to me is just wait and be patient. And y'all know we sitting right in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. This eight of wands right now, it feels normal, right? Because Mercury, everything is kind of going so slow. So the speed of this eight of wands feels normal. It's like, yo, this is like the speed limit but it's really not <laughs> it's really going fast slow down <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here the reading does resonate don't forget to like and subscribe um the signs that i have here are gemini with the lovers hey gemini you got capricorn here with the world card hey boo Je um cap you have virgo here um with the hermit i always call him the hierophant all right, babies. I love you. Bye.